Hi, my name is Christy Matthews and I graduated from Desert Christian Academy, class of 2014. I'm at UCLA, one of the most competitive schools in the country, and I don't feel at all that I was unprepared academically or socially, where I feel like I can compete with just any of the students there coming from some of the biggest, like most successful schools from around the country that I came from, DCA. I'm honestly really proud that I went here, and um, well, I know a lot of kids leave middle school and high school, but I'm so happy I stayed here and everything I learned and that I'm ready. So if I work hard, I know that there's nothing holding me back. My name is Jennifer Johnson. I went to Desert Christian Academy and graduated in 2009. Golf is very humbling. It's, it's one of those sports you can put hours and hours a day for years and you'll still go out and you may have a bad day, but you get to be outside all day long. You get to see amazing places, meet people you wouldn't ever get to meet if it wasn't for golf. And you can also touch a lot of people's lives. I think it's important to give back because I am just so blessed to be able to play golf for a living. I'm here with Jennifer Johnson after a ridiculous 9 under 62 today. Uh, Jennifer tied the course record, uh, personal scoring best. Yeah, um, well I shot 63 here a couple years ago and so I was just trying to get ahead of that 63 and um, I had a good chance on this hole and was happy I made it. <laughs> after uh, you know the bogey on eight, what happened there? Five straight birdies. I, they were bumping around, but somehow they still went in, so I was fortunate. <laughs> you got to stay humble, you know, give back to the community or give back to the military and thank the people that got me here. There's many reasons I wanted to get involved with Wounded Warrior Project. My grandpa fought in the Korean War, and I mean, the military was kind of always been around me. I mean, those men and women are so brave, and I wouldn't be able to golf every day and do what I love if it wasn't for them. DCA gave me the tools to make the right choices. My name is Gregory Nelson. I graduated from Desert Christian Academy uh, 2007. Mrs. McCroot was my high school math teacher, so I had her all four years of high school, and she was just, she was an amazing teacher. She really inspired me to want to do more with math, and now I'm a, I'm a high school math teacher, mainly in due to her, to her inspiration. Well, I love math because it's sort of, there's an order and you can see like how God set everything up and it's amazing to see how everything works. <laughs> Whether you know it or not in high school, like everyone needs math to survive <laughs> in real life. So x squared minus 6x. I was always pretty good at helping other people with their math homework. So I thought that secondary instruction was something that I would be good at. So I joined the math secondary instruction concentration at Biola and I never looked back. And now I've been teaching for three years and and I love it. I'm sort of known around the school as like the teacher that wears bow ties because it's not very common, but I like wearing them because I think they look cool. <laughs> what I've learned from DCA that I've taken with me in, in teaching and also going to school is to do everything to the glory of God. My name is Ben Bush and I graduated Desert Christian Academy in 1993. Being immersed in a faith-based school laid a very firm foundation through the efforts of a lot of teachers. Uh, flying an F-16 is awesome. It is probably one of the most versatile fighters ever designed and uh, it's just an absolute honor and privilege to be able to fly. It goes up to Mach 2.0 which is, which is pretty darn fast <laughs> and pulls up to 9 G's. My call sign is burning. May or may not have to do with some fire things that spontaneously combusted that may or may not have been my fault. The first of which was coming back from basketball practice um, at Desert Christian High School. Well, the Air Force is a team, and you know, for me, the first team I was a part of was on the basketball court there. And when we fly F-16s, we typically fly in a group of four. In high school, we we play against teams that were a lot better than us. But we'd been playing on the basketball court since third grade. We knew, I knew that when I drove on the baseline, Rodney was cutting down the lane, and David was going to go to the outside and, and be ready for a three-pointer if we needed. And so we were able to beat a lot of teams that were better than us. A lot of that is true in flying a four ship F-16. You know, I know exactly where my number three is going to be, where number two, what his responsibilities are, what four are. To the point where when we train well enough, we don't even have to think about it, we just execute. And that foundation was laid. Being a part of the team is a Desert Christian Academy. My name is Melissa Batages Lund, otherwise known as Wally to those at Desert Christian Academy, and I graduated in 2003. We moved from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Bermuda Dunes, California because my mother was from this area originally. My mom told me, you need to pick the thing you fear the most. I think fear, it makes you dependent on the Lord. It um, lights a fire. 
and you need that. And to this day, I still think about that. Choose the thing you fear the most, because it's usually what you should be doing. <laughs> DCA was the first time where I'd been surrounded by believers every day. In singing worship, you're vulnerable before the Lord. This is a time when you're singing just to give praise and glory to God. And so um, it's actually a much more vulnerable place for me than, than singing a concert. So I learned a lot through those, the first times of doing that and obviously still learning um, that it's not about me. Technically, my voice is described as a lyric coloratura soprano, which it's just fancy words for saying that I sing in a very high range and that I can sing long lines, but I can also do vocal fireworks.